So Mr. Luke's Hyundai Ionic 2018 hybrid. I think I showed a service on this before. The old Skoda Superb is gone. And then look, but, so I've got the actuator for the clutch here. And there's a reservoir at the top, we just removed there. See it dripping. Because I've been watching Mr. Ose from Hybrid Diagnostic Solutions, or Solutions Diagnostics. We just removed the reservoir by his recommendation because it get, gets quite mucky and then you could have clutch problems. So we're just about to see what the fluid is like now. It looks a bit cloudy. Just be careful here. This will bring us back in all the hair, yeah. So got it down a shot. Let's see the condition. It looks a little bit cloudy. So this is dot three or four. Wow, it's definitely not as yellow as it should be. Well, it's quite quite dark, really, isn't it? Hmm. Greenish. More like. And Has it got see. those bits in there? As yeah. You're saying? Yeah. It's got some segments inside as well. Segments. Segments. So we're gonna clean that. It looks like. This is not like his. His was like plastic. This is more like <coughs> chalk or something. You see? Those it's white, almost like, those to me, it's there. like metal filings. Really? Mm. No, but I'm on about the white things. Can you not see the white things? Look, you can see more on the... <coughs> God bless you. Excuse me. Uh, on, the, on the inside here. On the inside here. Can you see that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The I white, don't know. Just white dirt, bits. isn't it? Mm. But I'm impressed about that. Look how cloudy, how dirty that is. Horrible. Mm. Anyway, gonna replace it now. Some new fluid. Just a quick video to show you about this hybrid clutch uh, reservoir. It gets pretty, pretty mucky. It's probably like, <laughs> excuse me, I've got a hay fever. <laughs> uh, Jose for hybrid solutions diagnostics recommendation. That's why we're changing this. I'm gonna leave the links for he, his channel in the description below. But uh, he does a lot of hybrids and gets his hands dirty. That's what I like to see. Uh, so we're gonna clean that now, replace with some new brake fluid dot four, and that should be good to go. They need to be quite and now here's the fluid after being sitting for about I don't know four days five days look underneath there is a little bit better now looks a little bit more like dot four but all all the rubbish underneath there so I'm gonna pour it now another I'm gonna strain this just to see if we can identify what it is but uh, it was a great thing changing this, I think. So I have a 190 micron uh, sort of strainer here. Ooh, try not to make a mess. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, pour it, pour it in now. It looks, ooh. See a bunch of black stuff now coming through. All right, it's fluid. It's a lot better now. But so the fluid now is a lot better, a lot cleaner. You can see a bunch of stuff in there still. The strainer, I don't know if you can see that very well, 
but it reminds me what we see like gearboxes, you know. Can you see in there? Yeah, to me, it's pretty much what you see in gearboxes normally, like you know, really fine, minute metal filings. But uh, yeah, interesting. So something is kind of degrading inside the. Uh, the hydraulic system for the clutch there. Now then, the verdict. I would definitely recommend changing this fluid uh, before 138,000 miles, like this Hyundai. Uh, it's not difficult to change. It's easier with two people because you have to hold the reservoir in place and use a socket with extension to kind of like put the bolt in. So you can't reach, or I couldn't reach with my hand uh, to screw the bolt in. So look, held the reservoir and then with an extension and a 12 mil socket is a 12 mil bolt there. I, I was able to screw it in. So two people, definitely, definitely a good thing. I mean, we've done a bunch of stuff in this car, which is coming up in the next video. We've done the HSG bell, high bridge, uh, uh, starter generator belt. Uh, we serviced the front brakes, which I didn't film it. I just serviced it. 138,000, the pad's like perfect, doesn't need change it yet, which is amazing. And But watch out for that HSG belt, which is coming up. And yeah, again, I changed this in a recommendation of um, Jose from Hybrid Solutions Diagnostics. Um, in, in his case, he couldn't really explain what the, all the gunk is uh, in the fluid. And I'm not 100% sure. I tried to put a magnet behind the cup to see if I could see any metal filings inside, uh, you know, like a powder type of metal filings. And I did find some metal insides, but I left the cup here on a bench where I was grinding stuff. So I think I probably contaminated it. I'm thinking more like maybe the holes, degraded holes or something like that for, for the black stuff, you know, cause even now you can see it. Uh, you know, clouds inside, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe in the next time we can, before we contaminate the, the oil or the brake fluid, we can put a magnet inside and see if that, you know, if we, if we can pick up something. But anyway, check out um, Joseph's channel. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.